Okay, restarted. I hope everybody sees this. Hey, Josh's world. Can you can you see this? I just restarted my live stream, so hopefully that solves the problem. Okay. Hi. So th those of you that are here, can y'all tell me in the chat? C can y'all see my screen? It's working? Cool. Good, there you go. I don't know what was going on earlier. <laughs> okay. But yeah, my screen was working just right. So I don't know what happened. Okay, so we're at this stage and I'm, I'm just gonna just, I'm gonna get a fresh sheet here. Okay, and yeah, I'm doing it on my windowsill right here because my room's completely empty. Okay, so let me uh, just, I'm gonna find another brown sheet and no, I'm gonna use green. Ugh, there you go. I think green really stands out against white, a white background. Okay. All right, so a dog. So let me just double check. Can ever can so everybody that's here, can y'all see? Can y'all see me? Can y'all see like my screen? Like, what color commie am I am I holding up? So what color is this? Green. Yep, green. Okay, so I'm using a six inch square of green kami, and I'm gonna design like a simple origami three dimensional dog. Because uh, I have my dog in here right now, inside of my empty bedroom, <laughs> playing with my Red Bull can. <laughs> okay. Ah, I don't want my feet in the background. Okay. I'm trying to keep it so my phone stays steady. can all right all right so, so I'm gonna fold in half diagonally both ways <laughs> your house is nice well this is my old house right now I'm only gonna be in this house for less than two more weeks because I'm moving to Kansas uh, in a couple weeks so yeah, so in 12 days, I'm gonna be getting out of here for good. Okay, and plinths, fold the corners to the middle. So yeah, uh, this is just my empty bedroom here. My house is completely empty right now. The movers packed everything up last week. See? Okay. But my new house in Kansas, where I'm gonna move into next, I think, um, is a lot nicer than this. <laughs> okay. And full here. And I'm really excited, too. They are blinting. Okay, and I'm gonna fold two opposite sides in the middle. Okay, <laughs> better hurry up and get this video done because uh, it's already getting dark. Well, I do have my lamp with me. I can just set that up if it gets too dark. Okay. So I'm gonna fold this in like this. Yeah, I guess I can make it originate at the, the middle. There's a guide mark right there. Well, no, I, well, yeah, might as well. So it'll be like what I did in the, when I taught the, um, the shirt and pants, okay. So yeah, this is like a shirt and pants we're making, but just one color and repeat on this side. So I'm folding, I fold it in between here and this point. What are you doing back there? <laughs> so these are gonna be the legs of the dog. 
and they have four legs, so we're being on this side too. And this should come out pretty good. I can probably make a tutorial for this one day. But it'll obviously be when I get to my new house. Or I can probably do it when I get to the hotels. Okay. Hold on, let me make sure everything's secure first. something all right so uh let's thin out the yeah we can thin out the legs uh see so yeah, i will make a swivel fold right here make it like a swivel yeah there you go like a swivel fold originating at this no nah, don't make it originate all the way to the point because you know i don't want the legs to be too pointy okay I guess I can zoom in a little bit so you can see this. And, uh, well, I can't make a swivel fold right here, but, uh, maybe I can try and fold it like this. It's just a rough draft, so it's nothing. I'm trying to see how to make a head on here. Oh, no, actually, you know what? Um, god dang, uh... This actually almost looks like a dog head because he, here's the ears right here. And you can draw like a face on here. So, um, I'm trying to see how to make the legs though. Like, I'm trying to see how to bring them down more. Mm, I don't know. Well, these are the best legs I can come up with, so, um, I don't know, I could probably redo that in the future, but I'm just going to make these legs, so, I'll just remake that swivel fold I did, alright, and I might as well just do it on all four sides, so I'll just make this fold first, remember, don't make it originate directly to the point, that way they're not so pointy. Okay, and swivel fold. Little tricky step here. Just swivel it to taste. Okay. Now what about what about this side here? Well here we can start like this. And like this. Where design, the designing stuff is like the hardest part of the project. <laughs> I think the best part is film. I think the best part in my satisfaction is uh, recording the actual video. That's I think that's the best part. Cause I, I, I love recording it for some reason. That's the best part. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna swivel here too. Okay, there you go. That's a good. That's a good way to do it. And repeat right here on this side too. Okay. All right, like that. There you go, those are, those are some good looking legs right there. <laughs> that looks pretty funny actually. Maybe I can kind of bend them down so it looks like a car. <laughs> okay. So let's see, I'm trying to see like how to make a head. <laughs> Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm in a I'm in I'm in a perfectly good mood right now. <laughs> I'm not frustrated, mad or anything. I'm just uh this is how I design my models. I'm trying to I'm trying to design a model and I'm not, I'm not completely satisfied with it. <laughs> like when I was trying to design the, the 3D burger earlier, it came out to be sort of a fail and I wasn't happy with that. But this this dog should be a better design. 
So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm never mad on my videos or live streams or anything like that. That's only when I'm not doing videos. Okay, uh, so I'm folding these up like this. Daisy over there. Yeah, her name is Daisy. That's my beagle over there. Playing with something over there. <laughs> okay. Alright. Back to work. So. I folded the, the legs in a little bit, like this, to make them down more. That's pretty short legs. Okay, and I'll just kind of just shape them to Dave's. Well, no, no, actually, let's do the legs last. Um, uh, I'm gonna try and see how to make a head here. So, for the head, um, let's see if I can make a plea here. Mm, you wanna be friends? Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, I could probably do that. <laughs> Alright, we are friends. Okay. So let's let's try and make a head of the dog here. So I'm gonna fold, mountain fold in between these two points, like this. God, this is these are some pretty hard designs I'm doing. <laughs> pretty hard designs, but that is the spirit. I can, it'll make me good. All right. No, no, that didn't help. Uh, I'm gonna make, you know, I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see this. I'm gonna make just, oh man, a tail. That's what I need to do. But I don't know how to do that exactly. Um, hmm. Well, I, yeah, I can probably make a tail right here. I can make a couple pleats like this using the the middle crease and... Hold on. Yeah, it's getting hard here. <laughs> getting pretty hard. Oh, this is actually a cool way to make the tail because it, it automatically three-dimensionalizes the body. So, yeah, that's, that's nice. Okay. So, now make both pleats at the same time like this. And I'm gonna mountain pull this part like this and squash on the back. Yeah, it'll probably be a while until I make a, a tutorial for this model. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, there you go, there's a, that's the best that's the best way I can make a tail on here. here I'm gonna get on my knees, my knees so I get rest. Okay. So, there we go. All right, now for that darn head. <laughs> That's gonna be quite tough right there. I'm trying, I wonder if there's a way, like if I can bring these legs down a little bit more, so I can add a head on here. Um. Oh, wait, well, yeah. I can probably do one. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. Let's see if I can try and pivot it. Oh, there you go. There's, I can kind of pivot it, pivot it down a little bit. That might help. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's see what, what else I can design after this. I'll design something easier after this. <laughs> there you go. Just bring it down however you can. It's however you can. You can do it, it's fine. Uh, I think I heard a tour. There you go, I just brought those front legs down a little bit. Now we have space on here to make a head. Ugh, there you go. Now for that head. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do similar to what I did with the tail. I'm just gonna make a pleat like that, like however. And say I'm on this end, and they're originating at the points, right there. And 
and then I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm just gonna do exactly what I did with the tail, just a little bit differently, like according, like depending on size. Okay, so fold this down about like this. Well, I'm doing a swivel fold actually, folding down and squashing. Okay, this is not a cute dog. I'm trying to decide. <laughs> This actually looks more like a turtle, like a turtle I'm designing. And yeah, this is, maybe I can keep it like this, it's, it's a turtle. Oh, yeah, this actually gave me an, an idea, yeah. Um, let me see if I can design a turtle after this. A turtle, that would probably be an easier design. Okay. So. Alright, so there's the turtle rough draft. I'm not going to call it a dog, because it looks like a turtle. So yeah, turtle done. Now let me try and refine the turtle. Okay, so. Gotta find green in here because turtles are green. Let's see. Aha! Green! Okay. Same with that color. So. Turtle number two. Let's get started. So. Um... I guess we'll start the same way. We can fold, uh, I'll fold diagonally in half, both ways, and then blintz. And then fold the two sides in the middle. Okay, so blintzed like this, and then, uh, actually, instead of folding both sides to the middle, we can actually just, uh, I'm gonna do it like this, so I'm gonna, so no folding any sides to the middle, I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna fold this up, maybe right on that crease right there, and then I'm gonna have this point touch this line. Well, no, no. That would, well, no, I can. I, well, no. <laughs> oh, well, no. If I fold, if I do that, I'm just gonna just, I'm just, I'm just gonna blend it like that. No, I don't want to blend it. Uh, oh wait, no, wait. Actually, I can probably blend. Well, I think I'll do that on my third try. I'm gonna try and make a crease mark right here. I'm trying to make a good guide mark. And I'm gonna fold this up so this crease mark aligns with the middle, the midpoint. Okay, uh, like that, and then one more time. Fold it so it aligns. There we go, now I have a, a point where I can originate it at. There you go, there's a good guide mark right there. Uh, yeah, perfect. So on that crease mark, and this point should touch this line. And I guess we'll repeat all that on this side. So let's make our crease mark here, and align the crease mark with the middle point. And then align the crease mark you just made with the middle point. Alright, and then fold right on the furthest crease mark. And this point should align with this line here. There you go. Now let's rabbit ear those two folds. Like this. Okay. Oh wait, no, I, I don't think I did that right. Hold on. Uh, yeah, if I folded it like this. I just went a little bit further this time. I wasn't quite aligned with that, that's why. Okay. There you go. There, that's that's better. Okay. And then uh, we can fold this flap over twi both, both directions. 
and then I guess I'll squash it. Okay, like that. And these points are gonna be the legs of the turtle, so fold them out. There you go, just fold them out about like this. Maybe just make this uh, be a perfect triangle. Maybe an equilateral triangle is good. Or about like that, or maybe a five-leaf a five triangle. I don't, I don't really care. <laughs> about like this. There you go, there's the turtle's legs. And then, yeah, I guess on the front side, on this side, I'm just gonna just do a basic blint right here. Just do it like this. And then I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna fold this out. No, not too far, about like this. This is the leg of the turtle. And this will be our, the tail of the, tur of the turtle because turtles do have tails, so yeah. Okay, there you go. That's good enough. Now let's narrow the legs out. So let's do a swivel fold by doing that. Just swivel like this here. I'll zoom in so you can see. And same here too. I'm just gonna swivel it on this point. There you go, like that. There's one leg of the turtle. Okay. And let's, I'm gonna do it on this leg too. Let's, we're just gonna do it on all the legs. Just swivel. Okay, like that. And these legs too. Let's swivel. And to make the swivel a little bit easier, let's fold this edge to here. That way there's a crease we can do it on. <laughs> you live in Lawrence, Kansas, that's cool. The city I'm gonna live in, in Kansas, I'm gonna live in Lansing, Kansas, which I think is like right by that area. God, you and I are gonna be so close to each other, Josh's world. <laughs> yep, I'm gonna live in Lansing, Kansas. Okay, um. Swivel fold like this too, on both sides. And I'm just not gonna make the crease, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go, go right ahead and do it. All right. And same here, and I'm just gonna swivel it just to swivel. So I gotta use the restroom soon. So I think once I'm done with this turtle, I think I'll end the stream. Cause I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. Okay, like that. All right. And let's round the shell out. that and now for the tail let's make a pleat that should be pretty easy just make a pleat to taste there you go that's good All right, and I guess this will be the head of the turtle. That's a pretty fat head. I might need to refine this turtle later. But yeah, there it is. All right, there's the, three, there's the 2D turtle. And this is the 3D turtle. All right, so if I'm able to refine this, I can probably make a tutorial for it. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this stream. So hope you guys like it. And I guess I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or in a couple days. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>